can you solve this? Here's the question. Given that x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, then our goal is to solve for the value of x raised to the power of 12. Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And, of course, if you're done, put your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so, given x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, then our goal is to find the value of x raised to the power of 12. Now, the first insight is if we raise both sides by 12, then we're done. We just need to simplify the right-hand side of our equation. Of course, we get the answer if we do that. But in this video, we will do a different method. And here it is. First, let's multiply both sides by 2. And then, let's focus on this. And we only need two identities. The first one is when we add or subtract a plus or minus b raised to the power of 3. We get something like a cubed plus or minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus or minus b cubed. It follows that if this is addition, then this part we follow addition and addition. If this is subtraction, this becomes subtraction and this becomes subtraction. Alright, another identity is when we expand a plus or minus b raised to the power of 2. This will give us a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, what we're going to do here is to raise both sides by 3. And let's use the first identity. Now the left hand side of our equation becomes 8x cubed and the right hand side it follows this pattern that a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So we have a cubed plus 3a one squared times square root of 5 plus 3 times 1 times square root of 5 squared plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3. Now let's simplify. 1 cubed is 1 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 times square root of 5 is just 3 times square root of 5. Now, square root of 5 squared is 5 and 3 times 1 times 5 is just 15. Now, square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 is just 5 times square root of 5. Now, combine like terms, 1 plus 15 is just 16 and 3 times square root of 5 plus 5 square root of 5 is 8 times square root. Of 5. So that is the value of 8x cubed. And notice 16 is 2 times 8, and this 8 is 8 times 1. So we can divide both sides by 8. If we do that, we get x cubed equals 2 plus square root of 5. Alright, now we have x cubed and we want x raised to the power of 12. So what we're going to do is to square on both sides. And if we square on both sides, the left-hand side is just x raised to the power of 6. And the right-hand side, it follows this pattern, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So now let's simplify. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 times square root of 5 is 4 times square root of 5. And square root of 5 squared is 5. Combine like terms, 4 plus 5 is 9. So x raised to the power of 6 is just 9 plus 4 times square root of 5. And finally, we have x raised to the power of 6. And to get to x raised to the power of 12, let's square again on both sides. So the left-hand side of our equation is just x raised to the power of 12. This is what we want to find. And the right-hand side, it follows this second identity. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So now let's simplify. 9 squared is 81. 2 times 9 is 18 times 4 is 72. So we have 72 times square root of 5. And uh, 4 times square root of 5 raised to the power of 2, we have 16 times 5 or simply equal to 80. Combining like terms, 81 plus 80 is 161. And just copy 72 times square root of 5. And there you have it. You have the value of x raised to the power of 12. Therefore, our answer to this question, given that x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, then the numerical value of x raised to the power of 12 simply equal to 161 plus 72 times square root of 5. And as always, we are done.